So this is your second rom-com together, the first one being Holiday. So I was just wondering, what were the advantages of doing that second rom-com together? Well, I think that it was uh, like an evolution in in the work that we did on on Holiday. Like I, I really enjoyed that it was it was different in the way of the subject matter we were kind of tackling and also the position um, that it, the tone and, and, and the position each other's character was in in their life. And it just felt like Emma and I really, really wanted to work together again after Holiday. We had such a good time making it, but we were really conscious that we wanted to make the right one next. And, and this was really just perfect. We just, um, Emma found the script and, and, and sent it through and sent me a message saying I had to do it. And yeah, I, um, I duly, duly agreed and, 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 and uh, did as I was told. And, uh-huh. uh, and I think it worked out really, really well. So that was intentional then, the very because they are very different in tone. Yeah, we wanted them to be, we wanted, yeah, we wanted the ones that we were doing, the next one to do, that to not to not be the same thing. We wanted to it to be, you know, um, yeah, just a, an evolution, I think, in, in, in what we'd done before. And, and I think um, this was certainly it. So what is it about Alan and Michelle that kind of drew you two to these characters into this script? I mean, for me, I, I'm excited for people to see this movie because I feel like, so many people I know are like at this point in their lives. I think it's like my generation of like, okay, am I moving forward with someone or am I starting over? Or, you know, like, is marriage still relevant? Is like, there's just all these questions I feel like that are in the ether for people my age that I think Michelle and Alan are tackling. And I think that there, look, there's no right or wrong answer. It's something that, you know, um, everyone needs to figure out for themselves, but you know, Michelle and Alan are an example of how that can kind of be unfurled in Maybe I Do. Michelle has this great moment where she kind of spells out what loving each other for the rest of your life is gonna look like. And I found that particularly resonant. So I want to know if that was something that the two of you found important as well. Yeah, I think, I don't know, there's that, I think Emma's got a really beautiful line. I think in the bit you're talking about where she says something along the lines of how can you, how can we guarantee we won't go crazy when we're already crazy kind of thing? And, and I kind of love that, that, that sentiment that, that what are you looking in the future for if every day you've got to wake up and, 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 and find the love in each day. And I thought that was a, a really beautiful sentiment. And, and, and yeah, I think that was a really nice kind of lesson that that's probably my character's issue is that he's, he's, he's too worried about what, what could go wrong rather than what is going right at the moment and what will continue to go right if you keep your kind of heart and mind in, in that spot. So, yeah, I think that's a really beautiful sentiment that Emma's character has. So, Emma, I have to ask, um, you're going to be appearing in Madam Web next year, and I just want to know what it was like getting that call from Marvel. I thought it was very unexpected. <laughs> I was... Um... It's, just, it's so funny. It's like one day you're just walking around your house and then you get a phone call that they want to meet you for a Marvel movie. And it's like so it was so weird because I remember being like, what's the audition process? Like, what do I have to do? Um, and then I talked to the director and I was in Boston a couple weeks later filming and we had a lot of fun on it. It's obviously such an amazing cast and it's such a unique take on uh, a Marvel movie. So I'm really excited for people to see it because I think it's um, not, it's going to be very unexpected how they tell the story. And Luke, you were in Elvis recently, speaking of big projects. Um, are Baz Luhrmann films really as large, larger than life up close as they seem from our end? Like, yeah, they, the screen. yeah, they probably, they might even be bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy when you rock up to work and then you just see kind of 500 people dressed like it's 1971 walking past you into a giant soundstage that's like the rebuilt international hotel theatre. And, yeah, it uh, yeah it was absolutely insane. And it and it just kept going. And then, then there's Tom Hanks there as well. And it was just, it was pretty special. Every day on that set was, was so exciting and, and Baz is such a genius, and 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 so yeah, I, yeah, it was crazy. It was wild. It's hard to kind. Of, haven't really thought about it in a while, actually. So now thinking about, it, I was like, yeah, that wasn't quite an amazing experience. It, it was, was so it was surreal. Good. I love that movie so much. Yeah, thanks, Ia. So circling back to rom coms now. Um, obviously, the two of you like rom coms. This is your second one that you're doing together. Um, what is your go to rom com that isn't one of yours? 
I mean, I love my best friend's wedding. I absolutely love. And then I love bridesmaids. It always it always makes me laugh every time. Um, mine's a bit more calm, but it's definitely got rum in it. And it's <laughs> wedding crashes. It's definitely we like wedding crashes, yeah. I think, is so awesome. So funny. Um, but also I watched, um, when we were filming this and Emma and I were talking about it, I watched um, Runaway Bride. And that's so good, that movie. Love Runaway Bride. That movie is amazing. So, yeah, they're the ones that are in my mind. Okay, so all of these are wedding themes. So this is great. Tie into my last question, which is, so Alan and Michelle's story kind of kicks off with what is quite possibly an extremely embarrassing event. One of the most embarrassing events you could have at a wedding. So what is like the most embarrassing thing you've seen at a wedding? Ooh. Like mine is I fell down the stairs at my cousin's wedding in my bridesmaid's dress. So... <laughs> That's good. I, I was um, I was a bridesmaid and my girlfriend had us all wearing white, even though she was wearing white. And somebody knocked over a bottle of red wine that went like all down my dress before I had to give the speech. And it looked so bad that, that I had to wear like someone's suit jacket over it. But then I, t I actually hung it up later and it looked almost like art. Like it was so bad <laughs> that it was good. It just looked like this like, gothic, like ho romance horror bridesmaid dress. I still have it hanging in the closet with the wine stains. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, I, won't, I won't name names because I would never <laughs> do that. But I certainly know of this moment when a guest at a wedding was just tearing the dance floor up and then accidentally tore their tuxedo pants from arse to front and spent the whole night <laughs> with their underpants hanging out of their tuxedo pants. And like it was, was really you. funny and and it was, wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> but it was really, really funny. And I think everyone and this person took it in a great, great humour and it was, yeah, very, very funny. So it didn't stop them from cutting up the dance floor the rest of the night? No, or did I, think of... that, I think they were like, they're in for a penny, in for a pound now. All right. Well, thank you both so much. Congratulations again on the movie. Thank you. Thanks thank for you watching. Thank you so much. Have a great day.